Breaking news. Welcome to today's headlines. What are you going to do to me? Dokubo fires back at IPOB. What are you going to do to me? Dokubo fires back at IPOB. To my dear listeners from wherever you're listening from, stay tuned as I read today's news. Former Niger Delta militant leader Asari Dokubo has challenged the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, to do its worst over the lingering face off between them. Dokubo, in a live Facebook session on Sunday, said IPOP is not capable of doing anything against him. Adding that the entire Igbo people will soon rise up against the group. While denying any hand in the repatriation and legal tozu between IPOB leader, Unam De Kanu and the government, Dokubo went ahead to question the process IPOB as a group is following in its agitation for the creation of an independent Biafra. Niger News recalls earlier, IPOB in a statement, through its spokesperson, Ima Powerful had submitted that Dokubo is not, Igbo, is not an Igbo man, nor does he understand the Biafra agitation. The group, therefore, told him to stop portraying himself as such, warning that if any harm comes the way of any of its members or its leader, Mazi Unamdekano, then Dokubo would realize the capability of IPO. But the ex militant leader has told the pro Biafra group that he knows nothing about their leader's repatriation to Nigeria and that the people do not love Kano. He added that the Southeast region obeys the IPOP sit at home order not because of respect for the group or its leader but due to fear of dying. He said, IPOP said I was the one that sold them out, that I betrayed them. I'm not the one who said it. They are also the one that said I betrayed their leader in Kenya. I don't know where Unamde Kano was living. I don't know where he took off for. They said I was the one who gave him up. I now said I was the person. The next thing they said was Asai Dokubo was the person. Look at this idiot. What are you going to do to me? IPOP was presented as a platform for reconciliation, but today it is not for fighting for Biafra. Today, schools Businesses have been closed down. If people sit at home, it is their choice that they are afraid of you people. It is not because you people are powerful. They don't know you people are nothing. People are afraid of being killed. That is why they have continued to sit at home. Not because they love Unamdekano. If there is adequate security by the government, why is there no seat at home in Port Accord, Calaba, Uyo? It is because the government of these places are saying don't ever come here. Very soon, Igbos will come out and say it is okay. Our old women are starving. They can't go to the farm, market, 
at Onisha Market. People are afraid of doing businesses because they are scared of being killed. Former Niger Delta militant leader Asari Dokubo has challenged the indigenous people of Biafra IPOP to do its worst over the lingering face off between them. Dokubo, in a live Facebook session, on Sunday said IPOP is not capable of doing anything against him, adding that the entire Igbo people will soon rise up against the group. While denying any hand in the repatriation and legal tozu between IPOP leaders, Onam the Kanu and the government, Dokubo went ahead to question the process IPOB as a group is following in its agitation for the creation of an independent Biafra. Niger News recalls earlier IPOB in a statement through its spokesperson, Ima Powerful, had submitted that Dokubo is not an Igbo man, nor does he understand the Biafra agitation. The group therefore told him to stop portraying himself as such warning that if any harm comes the way of any of its members of its leader, Onamde Kano, then Dokubo will realize the capability of IPOB but the ex-